Chapter 20 The journey was long and hard to the ZSU, but when at last the group had made it, and it was time to get into the tank, Vanya took his place in the gunner's compartment, and Katusha hers in the commander's compartment that was a part of the gunner's nest. Into the front hatch, Mihail lowered himself into the driver's seat. Meanwhile, Bordoff sat down in the radar compartment and looked around to best understand how it worked. Is everyone ready? asked Katusha into the radio. ZSU Fazili, is that you? Affirm, replied Katusha. We need support, two clicks due east of the evac site. Katusha took her compass to the lights of the evacuation site and set the azimuth dial facing east. Vanya, is there a map down there? she asked. Vanya looked around and found one under his seat. Aye, he replied as he passed it to her through the curtain. We're on the way, replied Katusha into the radio. Mihail, turn the vehicle to 5,000 mil and proceed at 30 kilometers per hour. Turning to 5k, accelerating to 30 kmph. The vehicle lurched forward as it began picking up speed, and Vanya sat in his gunner's position with great anticipation. He looked down to the pin on his jacket and placed a hand upon it. Katusha said Vanya through the curtain. Yes, Vanya? She asked, not quite turning to face him as she focused on her viewport. Can I hold your hand for a while? He asked as he placed his hand through the curtain. Katusha turned to see Vanya's hand and placed hers into his. Um, I think I see something here, said Bordoff into the radio. Just as he spoke, Vanya felt the turret moving in the direction of the incoming rockets. It looks like a rocket barrage. Vanya, take aim, ordered Katusha. Vanya looked into the rangefinder and quickly adjusted the guns to focus on the incoming rockets. He looked down at the labels given. Gun 1 had standard HE rounds, guns 2 and 3 had HE tracer rounds, and gun 4 was loaded with AP rounds. Firing, replied Vanya. He squeezed the triggers and heard his three salvos fired from the four mounted barrels. The first was lost into the snow, until at last the fuse of the self-detonating rounds exploded but the second and third salvo burned bright through the air, exploding slightly sooner than the first. Several of the rockets coming from the barrage exploded, knocking the rest off course so that they impacted the empty land between them and the artillery teams. Nice. Looks like we took it our first rocket barrage, commented Mihail. Yes, but something tells me that won't be the last, replied Bordoff. Keep an eye on the radar, and remember to reset it from time to time, ordered Katusha. The drive to the first friendly site was quiet, aside from some stray small arms fire. By the time they arrived at the artillery site, it was clear the threat they were dealing with. Where are those fucking mortars? I can hear them, but I don't see them anywhere, screamed one of the artillery men. Around the group, blasts of earth flew up from the ground as the enemy's fire peppered the land around them. Backup has arrived, announced Katusha. Perfect, replied the head soldier of the artillery division into the radio. Keep those shells off of us so we can roll out the counter-battery radar. Adjust guns to be forward-facing, said Katusha as Vanya turned the turret manually. Vanya, I want you to hold the guns on the tree line. Board off. Set radar to scan that area. Mihail, keep the engines going in case we need to move quickly. This is it. First barrage inbound, announced Board off. Vanya watched as a dozen rockets came over the horizon and just into view as a result of their bright rockets burn. Awaiting orders to fire, called Vanya. As soon as they enter your range, called back Katusha. Vanya fired two standard rounds, each one taking with it only one rocket. He waited a second before unleashing a burst of tracer rounds into the bunch. The rounds exploded brightly and took with them handfuls of the incoming rockets. A dozen still came, however, and so Vanya fired the next salvo slightly lower than the last. Six more down, but another six to go. Just then, the sky was lit up with small arms fire, to which Katisha said, I'll provide cleanup. You focus on the next barrage. The last of the rockets exploded in the air before having a chance to land on the counter-battery crew. We have the radar set up. If you can sustain another barrage of rockets, we should be able to capture enough data to begin counter-fire, announced the artillery crew leader. Affirmative, said Katisha. All right, get ready. Second salvo inbound, called Bordoff. I've got them, said Vanya as he opened fire on the incoming rockets. The burst of HE rounds were bright, even in the blustering snow, and illuminated the trees around them. Several rockets sputtered out while others exploded in midair. Got it, announced the radar crew. 
We have their coordinates. Commence battery fire at 50 degrees vertical and at position 5600 on your compass. More rockets and mortar fire came towards the artillery site, and the ZSU adjusted itself to keep up as it targeted the rockets. Confirm. Firing on position 5600 at 50 degrees aloft, announced the artillery crew leader. A few of the mortars that managed to get past the ZSU's guns landed around the artillery crews and the ZSU, but none close enough to get anyone hurt. Several shots escaped the large guns, and it took a few seconds before the damage could be seen as a large fireball appeared on the previously invisible hillside. Direct hit. Looks like you got their munitions, announced the radar crew leader. Ready the gun for another salvo, announced the battery leader. Thanks for the support, ZSU. We're all good here. Copy, replied Katusha as she readied to move on to the next position.